So Dorothy, can you tell us a little bit about what the spring semester is going to look like for students in their classes? Well, Marcella, the spring is not going to be the same as, well, what a traditional semester would look like. It's going to be a little different. So some of our classes will still be remote, um, but we will have some in-person opportunities for students to be in the classroom and also engage in some small group activities with their faculty and also to meet with their faculty. Because I know, you know, the remote environment isn't always easy. And so we do want to have that interaction um, between faculty and students this year. Well, that's so great to hear. Um, Dorothy, could you talk a little bit about what the FIT model is? Um, just, you know, give us a little bit of context for that and, and how we've been getting and receiving feedback on that model. Sure, sure. So FIT stands for Flexible Immersive Teaching. And it is our approach to sort of remote and also in-person teaching and learning. And so it really adheres to the, the way that we sort of connect with the liberal arts and want to engage our students in the passion of learning about new things and making those connections, both inside the classroom, but also the world outside. And so we've learned a lot over the past several months. So first we learned a lot from our experience back in March when we first had to you know, make the rapid pivot to remote teaching and learning. But we also learned a lot about teaching in the FIT model and the MOD system from the fall semester. So we've been collecting surveys from our students and also our faculty, and we've been offering all kinds of faculty development opportunities so faculty can take that feedback and really make improvements in the way that courses are presented and also engage with students with you know, new activities and new approaches to pedagogy. It's so exciting to hear you talk about it, Dorothy. I'm so excited to see what the spring is going to be like. And of course, this is why Princeton Review gave our faculty the number one ranking, right? Yes, and we're extremely proud of that. It's a reflection of I think it's a reflection of the student experience in the classroom and also really reflects the, the great passion for learning and teaching that our faculty have and demonstrate day in and day out. Our faculty are extremely dedicated to our students and are very much invested in their learning. And so everything that we do is really with our students in mind. <laughs> 